Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Teppo here. Today we are in my absolute happy place. We are on the lake at the cottage. And in today's episode, we're gonna be doing a little bit of an upgrade to my DJI FPV drone. I mean, this guy's pretty powerful as is, but there's a slight modification we need to do to get the most epic cinematic footage out of this FPV drone. Now, I have a few flights under my belt with the DJI FPV drone, and in my opinion, this is a great starter FPV drone. It's safe to fly, you have the brake mode that if you ever get in a close call, you just hit that and automatically it's gonna start floating in the sky. And there's already been countless times where that feature alone has saved me from crashing this drone and wasting a whole lot of money. So I've really enjoyed learning with the FPV drone. It hasn't taken me that long to start learning how to fly. I am still getting more comfortable trying to get more wild with it, but I've definitely gotten used to flying in full FPV mode. Now, the one downside of the DJI FPV drone is the camera. The camera is just not wide enough, and if it's windy or you're getting these shakes, the footage as well has this micro jitters. So in my opinion, as a flying FPV drone, the DJI FPV drone is great, but to film cinematic footage, it's not so great. And that's why in this episode, I wanted to do a little upgrade to my DJI FPV drone so that we can have the best of both worlds. A drone that's easy to fly, but as well to get cinematic footage. The answer to my problem lies in this box right here. You're probably wondering, what in the world is in this little small gray box? Let me show you. The kind folks at Rotorite sent me this. Let me pull out the bag and show you better. They sent me this. What is this little random black strap thing? Let me show you. So this custom strap right here is specifically made for the DJI FPV drone because on these drones, they have these little screws on the edge. And what you can do is you take the strap and then you attach it this way, attach it to the drone like that. And then here you can attach the camera that I actually like to use on the FPV drone, which is the GoPro Hero 10, because it's much wider and then you can use real steady to get the footage looking very smooth. So what you do is you just open the bottom legs of the GoPro as such, and then just attach the GoPro to the strap. Not as easy as said than done. Man, I got the shakiest hands. Just screw it in there. Screwing it into the strap. And voila. Then we can essentially attach the GoPro to the FPV drone, meaning we'll have the best of both worlds. We'll be able to fly smooth easily with the DJI FPV drone, have the safetyness of being able to break at any point and not crash, but we'll have the wide cinematic look of the GoPro Hero 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the strap to the drone and then we're gonna go for our maiden voyage with the DJI FPV drone and the GoPro Hero 10 setup. And let's see what the footage looks like coming out of this epic cinematic setup. It's a good thing I got my trusty screwdriver set. And now for the finale, putting the GoPro on there. There we go, we got the GoPro Hero 10 mounted onto the DJI FPV drone. Very excited to see how the footage is gonna look from our first flight. Now the hardest part is gonna figure out what angle should I have the GoPro out because usually with the DJI FPV drone you can just tilt the camera up and down, but I have to pre-select my angle. So depending on how fast I'm flying, this needs to be angled at a certain angle. Now this is gonna be one of those things where it's gonna be trial by error. You know, the first few flights might be absolutely horrendous. The footage might look terrible, but then I'll figure out eventually what the right angle is for my flying speed and style. All right, we got all the things set up. Controllers on, headgears on, GoPros on. Now we're just gonna launch the drone. Get this in the air first. That's the main thing. Okay. So I like to usually just uh, 
fly in the normal mode and get it up higher so it's safe. And then we're gonna go for it. Check out the seat how we did. FPV is back in one place. Let me adjust the angles. So let's see how did we do with the GoPro? Okay, the tilt the tilt was good. Maybe could have been a little bit up, but oh yeah, the the GoPro wide angle just looks so much better right away. And the GoPro's got surprisingly good dynamic range, which is it's nice. I definitely gotta get a little bit more aggressive still, but man, this is sweet. This is like the ultimate setup for the DJI and the GoPro. Oh yeah, and thank you again, Rotorite, for sending me this uh, GoPro mount for the DJI FPV drone. Really easy to install and use, and it's solid. So thank you so much. I'll make sure to link it below if you guys are interested in getting one yourself. <laughs> Now in honor of our two successful FPV flights, I think there's only one thing to do and that's to have a celebratory sauna. What else would you do here at the Finnish Cottage? Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go! So hot! Oh, it's not so deep after all. Oh, this is the life. If you ever want to come to Finland, you're always welcome to hang out with me. Sauna and swim is always in order. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're out of here. <laughs> We're still in the lake, actually. <sighs> There's nothing more refreshing than sauna, swimming, and the nature here in Finland. It's honestly... One of the best things in the world, if I say so myself. Might be a little bit biased because I'm Finnish, but that's my opinion. Hey, buddy. How do you like being in there? Hey, Lennox. What's up, buddy? Ha-ha. Dad life fully on here right now. <laughs>